Segment routing, topology independent LFA, SRLG and node protection. My name is Chris Mickelson. Topology independent LFA or TI LFA provides sub 50 millisecond link, node and SRLG protection with 100% coverage. TI LFA is simple to operate and understand. The backup path is automatically computed by the IGP, no specific tuning is required. By using the post convergence path as backup path, it prevents transient congestion and suboptimal routing on the backup path. TI LFA can be incrementally deployed. It's a local functionality and it also protects LDP and IP traffic. In this demo, we will show how segment routing topology independent LFA can be used to protect against node failures. We will use this topology for the demo. All the nodes in this topology are segment routing enabled ASR 9K routers using the default segment routing global block. The label range 16000 to 23999. The prefix SID attached to the loopback prefix of each node is 16000 plus the number of the node. For example, node 9 uses prefix SID 16009. This is also indicated above each node. The link metric of all links is 10, except for two links. The link between node 6 and node 7, which has a metric of 30, and the link between node 2 and node 7, which has a metric of 15. An Ixia traffic generator is connected to node 3 and node 6. Node 9 is a node that is emulated by the Ixia. The traffic from node 3 to node 9 follows the shortest path through the network as indicated by the blue line. To protect the traffic against link failures, topology independent LFA link protection is configured on all interfaces of node 3. This is the ISIS configuration on node 3. Under the interface to node 1, fast reroute per prefix TILFA is configured. TILFA on node 3 has calculated the link protecting backup path for all destinations, including destination node 9. This backup path follows the post convergence path, the path that the traffic would follow after the link between node 3 and node 1 has failed. In this topology, Node 3 can simply direct the traffic destined to Node 9 towards Node 2 when the link fails, and from there it follows the shortest path to its destination. This backup path is indicated by the red line. Note that this backup path is per destination. Each destination can have its own, possibly different, backup path. Let us verify the backup path for destination node 9 on node 3 using the command show ISIS fast reroute. The backup path goes via node 2 with the next hop address 99.2.3.2. However, this backup path is not node protecting. Since the backup path goes via node 1, it doesn't provide protection in case node 1 fails. Let's verify what happens when failing node 1 in this situation. We will use the traffic generator to send traffic from node 3 to node 9 at 1000 packets per second. We will then simulate the failure of node 1 by shutting down all the interfaces of node 1. Then we will verify the number of lost packets, which will be equal to the loss of connectivity duration in milliseconds. On the traffic generator, I have configured a thousand packets per second traffic stream from node 3 to node 9. The traffic is IP traffic. All packets are received and no packets were lost. I now go on the console of node 1 and shut down all the interfaces.
going back to the traffic generator to stop the traffic stream. 129 packets are lost, which comes down to a loss of connectivity duration of 129 milliseconds. A loss of connectivity of this duration means that the protection was not effective for this node failure, just as we had predicted. The connectivity was restored by the regular IGP convergence. Let's go back to node 3 and now enable TILFA node protection on node 3. It's one additional line of configuration specifying node protection as a tiebreaker. This can be configured per interface or as a default under the ISIS instance. In this example, we configure it under the interface to node 1. With this configuration, TILFA on node 3 will find a node protecting backup path for each destination. This backup path will follow the post convergence path, which is the IGP path to the destination as it would be after the node fails. In this example, the backup path follows the path that is indicated by the red line. A segment list is used to steer the traffic on the backup over this backup path. The packets on the backup path are first steered to node 7 using its prefix it 16007. Then it is steered over the high metric link to node 6 using the adjacency SID. And finally it reaches the destination by using the prefix SID of node 9, 16009. When verifying the backup path for destination node 9 on node 3, we indeed see the backup path via node 7 and the link to node 6. Each destination has its own backup path. The algorithm is optimized to compute this in a smart and efficient way. In this example, node 3 can protect destination node 7 against the failure of node 1 by steering the traffic towards node 2. From there, it will continue its way to node 7. Since node 7 advertises the prefix it, node 3 pushes the prefix it label of node 7, also on the backup path. Node 3 does not need to push any additional labels on packets on the backup path. When verifying the backup path for destination node 7 on node 3, we indeed see the backup path via node 2. On the traffic generator, I have restarted the traffic stream from node 3 to node 9. 1000 packets per second. All packets are received and no packets were lost. And I now go on the console of node 1 and shut down all the interfaces again. Going back to the traffic generator to stop the traffic stream. 10 packets are lost which comes down to a loss of connectivity duration of 10 milliseconds. Such a small loss of connectivity means that the traffic was effectively protected. TILFA provided protection against this node failure. In this example, TILFA had to push two additional labels to steer the packets on a node protecting backup path. In other topologies, do we need more labels? Do we need a large sit list, a large label stack on the packet to steer it on the node protecting backup path? No. What we see here are charts with statistics of nine real provider topologies of various sizes and shapes. These graphs show the percentages of destinations that are protected with the number of SIDs that are indicated. The link protection statistics are on the left, node protection in the middle, 
and local SRLG protection on the right. The light blue bar shows the percentage of destinations protected by pushing no additional labels, labeled as zero sits. The light green bar shows the percentage protected by pushing one additional label, labeled one sit. These two already provide very good coverage. The dark green bar indicates the percentage protected by pushing two additional labels, labeled as two sits. From these charts, we can conclude that a vast majority of destinations can be protected by pushing at most two additional labels on the backup path. And more than four labels are never needed in these nine real provider networks. So realistically, the sit list needed for node protection is very limited. In this demo, we have seen how topology independent LFA provides protection against node failures. We have seen that TILFA is simple to operate and understand. IGP automatically calculates the backup path for each destination, a backup path that is tailored over the post conversions path. And we have seen that only a small label stack is needed to protect against link, node, and SRLG failures. Visit us for more segment routing information at cisco.com and segment routing.net. Thank you for watching this video.